Guevara at Michigan. And the opening tap belongs to Georgia Tech and Tony Morgan, the freshman. To come off the bench, hopefully to get her going. She had a, a great showing against Central Michigan a season ago. Whoa, not a Nas. Off the window and in. Georgia Tech with the first points. Fallon, what are your keys for this afternoon's game? 7.1 per game and turn their defense into offense. That's been critical when they're slow to find something within their own system, just like Tony Morgan did. Central Michigan out of the gate, 0 for 3. Off the glass, and that's too strong on the scoop from Tesson. But how about an offensive rebound from Rochelle North? And Georgia Tech is very lucky because they had nobody back. Great hustle by Bianca Jackson to alter that shot a bit. Quarter three for Cameron Swartz. She's done that all season long. Nas over there, but Swartz in the quarter. Wide open. Easily, if they're not happy in a situation or if they want to move on and move closer to home, they can transfer and play right away. So. It's taking time to adjust, but once we get out of this COVID period, I'm sure you're going to see better pr production as we continue. The sent from Central Michigan. Gets a hand on that ball, probably blocks it and alters, alters that shot a bit. And Georgia Tech able to recover and get the rebound. Swartz uses the ball screen, hangs a J and drills it. Well, she's a score improvement. She led the ACC in scoring a season ago in mm. conference play at 19 points a game. So that's a lot of buckets. Oh. And this is another player that can put him up, too. This was a knockdown right here by Sidney Harris. Just moves the ball. Scoring, three-point shooting. In fact, no player in the MAC has taken and made more threes this year, though. <laughs> she's already yes. hit her career high for <laughs> tips is 16 in a game. So she's not shy. And right there, she was just a few steps in. But she's starting to get a rhythm. So Central Michigan's got it down to one. The Jackets have missed six of their last seven shots. Now Chippewa's had a chance to take the lead. Nice feed down low, beautiful left hand. Rochelle Norris and the pass from Bridget Upper. Led her to the basket, and then you have the nice finish by Norris. And Bianca Jackson just ran a whole circle around the low block and lays it in on the right side. Baseline inbounds, triggered by Jackson. With good active hands, deflected the pass. Jackson from the free throw line, buries it. Mm and try to limit Central Michigan's touches inside the paint. Here's another good look. Nice poise by Nadej Jajan, waiting for the defender to rise, leave her feet. By Central Michigan around the rim. From high loho down to Blackshear, nearly walked with it. Hermosa, six foot five. Didn't have to reach very far for that rebound. She yeah. gets a second chance point. I think it's solid. I mean, they're in a position where they're not unhappy about being in. This is a different team. It could be a lot worse, especially with that road trip coming back 4-1. That's excellent. That's what that may <laughs> that may be where that end up. Uh -huh. But hopefully it's some different competition because I think it just brings so many more looks and opportunities for both leagues to get exposure for their players. With Georgia Tech, they're about at 15 or 16 turnovers a game. But 21, that's high. and You want to get that number down. Cameron Swartz! Drills the three and she'll go to the line for one more. Bianca Jackson trying to find Swartz. Harris doing everything she can to lock her down. So Jackson forced to put it up herself and she hits it. Oh man, that's just what it's like being a born score. You know, what the Chippewas are trying to instill, you know, beyond just the wins and losses, especially in the non conference, is trying to be more physical. That, right. that is such a huge key for them and their success. Ooh. Yeah, that's a smooth stroke, isn't it? When Kayla Blackshear, I mean, I know that'll show up as a steal in the box score, but that's not usually where your eye first goes. She just fills up all those other categories. Steals, blocks, deflections if you track those. Second chance points, Kara Dunn. Tiana Tempe. First time we've seen her, she's a strong three-point shooter. Upberg lets it fly from the wing. Oh, and the net hardly moved. Mm -hmm. That snaps an 11-0 run for Georgia Tech. Blackshear, high-low, Dunn. Easy two points. Morgan looking to get trapped there at the timeline by Upberg and Anderson. Baseline. Oh, so quick. Kayla Blackshear. Just a bad decision on that last possession by Tempe. Knocked loose on the drive. Lob pass ahead. Upberg one on two. Oh, good touch. We're right in the middle of finals, too. I, you know, back when you were playing, I assume it was just Monday through Friday, right? I assume so, yeah. It's been so I long ago, Wiley. Don't put me <laughs> on blast like that too soon. I'm just <laughs> Then played uh, another year, or another couple years in West Virginia. 
and then did not play last year. She transferred to Virginia Tech, was out with injury. Deandre Jackson buries a three. In Central Michigan, they don't have anybody crashing when they take these outside shots. The only one who's really going after the rebounds is Norris. They all need to crash at this point. And instead of going to the lane, Morgan has a pull-up jumper. And that was a good job for Blackshear to keep playing and to alter that shot. Mosa with the ball screen. And picks up the easy two points on the rebound. I think it's the biggest quarter. Mm -hmm. When you come out of halftime, it's how the momentum you want it to shift, especially if you're down at halftime, how you come out and how you play. Because I think it's going to be indicative of how you perform in the fourth. Good handles by Morgan. Oops, turns it over. Yeah, not a good pass. Good hands. And Carrington Gordon. Get that ball in that lane and finish. Done. With contact, gets the bucket, draws the foul. Should go to the free throw line for one more. Over to Gordon. Karen Dunn with the steal. Good pass. Noredo at the other end. Kara Dunn's got her fingerprints all over this one. Central Michigan, meanwhile, they will uh, travel to Eastern Illinois next Sunday. Two o'clock game a week from today. She just has a nice shot, Harris. I know touch is something I think a lot of people believe is sort of innate. How about mechanics of a shot? I mean, how much can you really improve how the ball comes out of your hands? No, oh, you can definitely improve your mechanics. Oh, that was a big shot by uh, Bianca <laughs> Jackson behind. She can ball goes in and rolls right back out. Done. Noredo. Oh, that was smooth. Checking in on both sides, Cameron Harrison, her first minutes of the day. We've also seen from Michaela Hall. And Noredo's turning it on. You slipped that past me a moment ago. <laughs> Harris lets it fly from a standing still poor position. Players have played today for Georgia Tech. 30 point lead for the Jackets. Three pointer from Harrison Bottoms. She started once this season, but appeared in every game now. Hall feeds down low. Harris going to work on Noredo. What a move down low. Did a nice move inside. Nice little hesitation, head fake, and finish. That was a pro move. Well, I can sure, I assure you, Noredo didn't know she had that. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other end, and you can do the math too. You saw 35 minutes on that graphic. We got five minutes left or so. She's basically playing every second of this one. She is. First points for Janae Walker this afternoon, transfer from UCF. She'd started three straight games up until today, coming off the bench. The pass by AC to Harrison. There'll be some extra juice in the building, I'm sure, given that Cameron Swartz, who spent the last four years at Boston College, returning home to face her old team. Yeah, that's going to be a big deal. Another big time finish, and Harris is like, y'all need to give me the air. If they can still hold their own and holding teams to around 50 to 55 points a game, then that's going to speak volumes about the type of defense they play. Moreno with the bank shot. They defeat Central Michigan 71 to 45, the final score. And in the middle of finals week, the Yellow Jackets do not blink on the hardwood.